Welcome to the Cave of Wonders, friends. I'm Lord Callus of the Dreamwalkers. Today, let's talk about Star Wars, Episode 9. right into it shall we so it's no secret that the fandom is divided by politics and, and the last jedi uh, so this announcement that comes from starwars.com a couple of days ago is is bittersweet and they they announced the cast that will be returning for uh episode nine so i'd like to read through that article with you guys and spark up some conversation some discussion um so it reads star wars episode nine cast announced Returning and new cast members will join together for the final installment of the Skywalker Saga. Let's push a pin in it. The Skywalker Saga. The reason why that's important is because you have to understand that you cannot change, you cannot fundamentally change the main character in the, the end of the saga. It, it just, it's not good writing. Um, and I don't want to argue, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but that to me just was mind-blowing um this is the skywalker saga so episodes four five and six spoke to luke's story episodes one two and three spoke to anakin skywalker luke's father and then episode seven eight and nine should only speak to luke's child that child should be ready i digress uh, I know some people will argue that Kylo Ren is a Skywalker. No, he is not. Kylo Ren is a, Kylo Ren is a Solo. He's a Solo. His his last name is Solo. He he has Skywalker blood, but he is a Solo. So it only makes sense for this saga to end with Rey being a Skywalker. Let's move forward. Star Wars Episode Nine will begin filming at London's Pinewood Studios on August 1st, 2018. J.J. Abrams returns to direct the final installment of the Skywalker Saga. Abrams co-wrote the screenplay with Chris Terrio. Now, if you're like me and you didn't know who Chris Terrio was, I had to look him up. And he is um, the screenwriter for uh, Batman vs. Superman, Justice League, Argo back in 2012 and Heights back in 2005. Uh, he does have some accolades under his belt. He's got an Academy Award for the Best Writing Adapted Screenplay as well as uh, Writers Guild of America for the Best Adapted Screenplay. So he does have um, some experience under his belt. Whether or not he should be uh, writing a, a Star Wars film, you know, only time will tell. I just know that some people will be a little bit skeptical because of the performance given with Batman versus Superman and Justice League. Um, but let's move forward. So returning cast members include Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, Lupita Nyong'o, Dunham Gleason, Dom... what? Domno Gleason? I'm sorry if I'm messing your name up. Kelly Marie Tran, Jonas, I'm going to mess this one up too, Su, Su Yotamo, and Billy Lord. Joining the cast of Episode 9 are Naomi Aki, Richard E. Grant, and Kerry Russell, who will be joined by veteran Star Wars actors Mark Hamill, Anthony Daniels, and Billy D. Williams, who will reprise his role as Lando Calrissian. First, let me say I'm, I'm fine with Lando coming back. That doesn't disturb me at, at all. Um, what does disturb me is uh, how they're going to bring back Mark Hamill as Luke because that is ultimately my biggest gripe with episode 8 was how they completely and utterly uh, just mishandled his character. He's actually my favorite Star Wars character if you can't tell and over here off camera I'm, I'm the biggest Star Wars uh, fan in the world so uh, and Luke is my favorite character and they just to a lack of a better word, they shitted on him, all right? And that is just disturbing. 
so how they're going to handle him coming back is it, it has me like ugh, what what's going on here because they never should have killed him in the first place but i don't want to go there let's keep it moving f forward right so the role of leia organa will once again be played by carrie fisher using previously unreleased footage shot for star wars the force awakens i'm not mad at this either um i'm not i'm i, I just want to know how they're going to do it so that's what will make the difference uh, i'm one that is optimistic so i'm going into episode nine uh wary a little weary but uh, but still excited all right so the fact that they will have uh carrie fisher as leo organa is exciting um but I just want to know that he's going to handle her character correctly. Uh, we desperately loved Carrie Fisher. This is a quote from J.J. Abrams. We desperately loved Carrie Fisher, says Abrams, finding a truly satisfying conclusion to the Skywalker saga without her eluded us. We were never going to recast or use CG characters. Uh, with, a, with the support and blessing from her daughter, Billy, we have found a way to honor Carrie's legacy and role as Leia in episode 9 by using unseen footage we shot together in episode 7. So that's kind of exciting. I, I am excited about that. Uh, composer John Williams, who has scored every chapter in the Star Wars saga since 1977, A New Hope, will return to a galaxy far, far away with episode 9. So, yay! Excited to hear that as well. Star Wars episode 9 will be produced by Kathleen Kennedy, J.J. Abrams, and Michelle... Rejwan, and executive produced by Callum Green and Jason uh, McGaitlin. The new, uh, the new crew includes Dan Mendel, who's the director of photography, Rick Carter, and Kevin Jenkins, co-production designers. Uh, Michael Kaplan is the costume designer, so on and so forth. That just gives people behind the scenes that we aren't necessarily so interested in. Um, so basically, it's scheduled to release in 2019. Um, I have to say I am excited. I'm, I'm, I love Star Wars, period. The, every single Star Wars. So it, the only one that I did not like was The Last Jedi. I loved Rogue One. I, lo I liked Solo. Didn't love it. Liked Solo. Um, I love, loved the prequels. I will say I loved the prequels. I was about the story. And of course, the actual original trilogy. Uh, so the only of all of those movies that I didn't like was The Last Jedi. So uh, I am excited to see that J.J. is, is back to to, um, to close the saga for us. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what they do with uh, Rey. Hopefully she will end up being a Skywalker. Uh, I don't know how he's going to do that, but it, that is the only thing for me that makes sense. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think uh, let's talk about it. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> episode 9, December 19th. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comment section. Are you excited for episode 9? Or you couldn't care less? Whatever it is, let's continue the discussion. And while you're there, like, subscribe, be a part of the Dream Team. And as always, thanks for taking the time to spend with the Dreamwalker.